Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. As Jesus came to build a new temple fitting for the worship of God, may He also come and cleanse and rebuild the temple of our lives. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in, in the, the highest, highest. And, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, where the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Makes fresh wherever the river flows every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. And there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow. From the, from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountain plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold, is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. 
according to the grace of God given to me. Like a wise master, under, master builder, I laid the foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that that Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus said in the Gospel today, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. This is the mission of Jesus. He came so that he could rebuild the temple to repair what was destroyed, to rebuild what is broken. Yan ang misyon ni Jesus. Dumating siya 
para ayusin ang nasira. Itayo muli ang gumuho. Ayusin muli ang sugatan. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus comes to our lives precisely to do this. To repair and rebuild what is wounded in us, what is broken and destroyed in us, what is hurting in us. Dumarating palagi si Jesus sa buhay natin para hilumin muli tayo anuman ang nasira, sugatan, at kinakailangang ayusin sa ating buhay. Mga minamahal na kapatid, di po ba ganyan din ang ating mga karanasan? Kapag minsan, nagsinungaling ang isang tao sa atin, nasasaktan tayo at nasisira ang tiwala natin sa Kanya. Halimbawa, mayroon tayong maling ginawa. Madalas nasisira din ang tiwala natin sa ating sarili. Kapag mayroong sakit na nangyayari sa pamilya, nasisira ang ugnayan. Dumarating si Jesus palagi para ayusin at pagalingin ito. Jesus always comes to repair and to rebuild so that according to our first reading today, our lives may become a fresh temple with fresh water flowing through us so that our lives may become again new, fresh, and fruitful in God's grace. Kagaya sa unang pagbasa, dumarating si Jesus para muling hilumin ang ating mga sarili at ang ating sarili ay magiging bago muli. Pagpapanibaguhin ng Diyos at gagawin niyang mabunga muli ang ating mga sarili. God comes to repair and rebuild our lives. And St. Paul also, in our second reading today from his letter to the Corinthians, remind us, our lives are hurt, may be wounded by others, but there are many times also that it is ourselves who ruin our own lives. Sabi ni San Pablo sa ating ikalawang pagbasa, Mag-ingat din tayo kasi maraming beses na pagkakataon, tayo rin naman ang nagiging dahilan ng mga sugat sa ating sarili. And so, let Jesus come. Let God come to repair and rebuild what is wounded, what is broken, what is destroyed, what is hurting in our lives. Tama na po nasaktan ninyo ang inyong mga sarili. Kapag nagkamali tayo, nagkaroon ng maling desisyon sa buhay, kapag nagkaroon ng pagkakamali sa buhay, hindi nasunod ang plano ninyo. Kapag hindi natuloy ang gusto natin, Many times, we blame ourselves. And by blaming ourselves or by blaming one another, we are just hurting one another. Stop blaming yourselves. Stop blaming others. Whenever we commit mistakes, whenever we fail, Open up yourself to Jesus and follow Him because only by following Jesus can He come and rebuild and repair what was broken and what has failed. My dear brothers and sisters, 
as we commemorate today the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome, the Cathedral of the Holy Father in Rome. It was built, destroyed, and was rebuilt again and again. The story of the Lateran Basilica reminds us that all, God always comes to repair and rebuild us. Let us pray that in this Eucharist, God may repair and rebuild our lives. Amen. Please stand. Our Savior dwells within the living temple of His Church. A baptized people gathered around the successor of St. Peter. We pray to our Father, inspired by the Holy Spirit. For every petition, let us say, Lord, bless us, your living temples. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That the universal, universal Church may grow in unity and faith through our fidelity to the Pope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That nations may live in peace and avoid vindictiveness and rivalry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless us, your, your living temples. That those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That we may demonstrate our faith by the way we care for and use this church building. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That the dead may become living stones in the eternal temple. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. Loving Father, you raised the body of your Son, the glorious temple of the resurrection. As his mystical body and temple on earth, we offer our prayers to you, hoping to share in the same resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it 
those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the Church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may, be, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our healing rosary for this evening will be hosted by the priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul. They may be familiar to you because the brothers and priests of the Society of St. Paul are serving in the media apostolate in print, in publishing, but also on TV and social media. The Healing Rosary tonight at 9 p.m. will be prayed at the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle in Makati City. Let us once again join this evening as we become one in praying for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.